to pay tribute to those who've made significant and lasting contributions and for whom we recognize as models for the highest standards of integrity and excellence, Crystal Rock introduces the inaugural inductees into the Crystal Rock Ring of Honor. In 1914, 19-year-old Henry Baker leased the spring on the Lockwood Farm in Stamford, Connecticut, and set out to sell glass bottled water at 25 cents for six bottles. My father started Crystal Rock Spring Water Company with a horse, a wagon, and a small supply of water bottles. What he would do is he would, in the morning, fill it up with half empties and half fulls, just so that when he was going out and selling it, that the people buying it wouldn't think that they were the only people in the world buying bottled water. A tireless worker, Baker was told by the local doctor to avoid labor after Henry suffered a deep gash to his right thumb while washing bottles on November 13, 1922. Instead, he put his arm in a makeshift sling and continued to serve his customers. He worked out of his house. He used water pump from a well just right inside his door. We owe the beginnings to Crystal Rock and the direction of Crystal Rock to my father. By the time of his passing in 1947, Henry had expanded the Crystal Rock operation from the Farm Spring to the current Stanford location and had set forth the model of service that pervades the Crystal Rock culture today. We think it's difficult now uh, delivering with a horse and wagon and uh, all kinds of weather and starting from scratch. Really being a pioneer at, at, at that time, uh, you know, it was a lot to look up to. Henry's wife, Gladys, did the bookkeeping for Crystal Rock. A smart and unflappable person, she took over the day-to-day -day operations of the business with her husband's passing, determined to see it continue. My grandfather passed away when my dad was in high school still. So my grandmother, who was, I guess, a pioneer of uh, women in business at the time, uh, kind of kept the business going after my grandfather passed. And then my uh, father got into the business and they worked together and my father eventually took the business over. When my father died in 1947, the company could have easily died with him. The choice was my mother's, and she decided to make a go of it. And make a go of it she did, sustaining and growing the family business with all her talents from 1947 until 1965. For 18 years she ran Crystal Rock, and this was before the days of women's lib. And she did it well. She had the respect of all our customers, our suppliers, our employees, and deservedly so. Many of you know the amount of work and sacrifice that was involved, from washing bottles herself to managing the company's operations single-handedly. Crystal Rock thrived during this period solely due to my mother's spirit, hard work, and dedication. And for all this, mother, we salute you, and thank you, and we love you. I am proud to have shared these 30 years with a man whose involvement with Crystal Rock goes back even further. And I'd like to introduce him to you now, the president of Crystal Rock Spring Water Company and my good friend, Henry Baker. To help his mother, 15-year-old Henry Jr. worked nights and weekends in the Crystal Rock plant until he finished school. For the next 53 years, Henry would earn a reputation as an industry pioneer, a recognized innovator in quality control, and in marketing bottled water and coffee break supplies to the workplace. I consider Henry a very good friend, boss. Um, he took me in, made me part of the Chris Rock family. He was involved as a, as a volunteer fireman. He was involved in, in local, uh, sponsoring local sports teams. He was involved in multiple sclerosis. I know my mom had MS. Henry is one of the backbones of the bottled water industry. Uh, the owner of Great Bear and Henry were very good friends. They started the American Bottled Water Association. Henry Jr. served on the IBWA Board of Directors for two decades and was inducted into the Beverage World Bottled Water Hall of Fame. But his greatest legacy at Crystal Rock may be the customer pledge. His mantra on the importance of the customer 
a business philosophy that more than anything else has driven Crystal Rock's growth. Back in the uh, early 80s when we uh, decided to move up to this area, um, Mac Baldridge was the Commerce Secretary under Ronald Reagan, and uh, being from the area, he knew of the expansion of Crystal Rock, and he wrote a note to my dad congratulating him on uh, taking the, the, the step and the leap of faith to grow the company up in the Waterbury area. He's very fair, um, very generous. Um, you do good for Henry, he does good for you. I kind of wanted to follow my dad's footsteps. I was proud of what he did. I was proud of how he grew the company and how he uh, treated people. And uh, I kind of want to be like that. More than legal counsel, Ross Rappaport is an integral part of the Crystal Rock family, helping navigate the business direction of the company. Four decades ago, Ross first served as an opposing lawyer to Henry Jr. on a business issue. Henry was so impressed with Rappaport's knowledge and vigor that he hired Ross immediately. I knew Ross probably before I actually started working at Crystal Rock. He was the family lawyer, or the company lawyer, uh, going back uh, to the mid-70s. Rappaport has dedicated over 40 years to Crystal Rock as both attorney and board member, and since 2005 has served as chairman of the board. Through all these years, Ross has guided the most sensitive matters of business planning and growth, balancing the tradition and integrity of the family business with a sophisticated structuring of a publicly traded company. His leadership, his, uh, his advice both has a, a, a personal uh, life coach uh, and a business, you know, representing us uh, business-wise. You know, his contribution to Crystal Rock is, is monumental. Russ has been uh, a brother, a second father, a mentor, and a great friend of mine. Gene Monty started at Crystal Rock in 1950, working out of the single garage office. He became the company's sales manager to get Henry Jr. off of running delivery routes and enabling Henry to run the business. A uniquely gifted mind for sales, marketing, and product development, Gene was the original Crystal Rock marketing director and much more. All of us are excited about the event that brings us here today and for what it represents to Crystal Rock and the community of Stanford. My association with this company goes back some 30 years, for which I am very proud. Gene, um, great guy, miss him dearly. Um, one of the most knowledgeable guys in the industry uh, that uh, I've ever come across. Gene knew more about bottled water than anybody in the, in the business back then. Gene was uh, one of a kind. Um, just an exceptional human being. He was so proud and it, it clearly showed about, you know, all of the accomplishments and things when this company was really, you know, being built and in a lot of ways in its infancy. The growth of Crystal Rock is, uh, you know, due to the tenaciousness of Gene Monty. I know Gene Monty my whole life and um, working with Gene was very special and um, Probably not anybody with a bigger heart and more loyalty uh, in the world than Gene. I remember Gene as part of my first memories of anything. And uh, him and my dad would work hard all day. They partied together too, so it was work hard and play hard for those two. Gene Monty mentions he's been associated with, it, with Crystal Rock for 30 years. Associate is a great understatement. The success with this company in no small part is due to his abilities, dedication, and loyalty. For 30 years, he's been my right hand and my best personal friend. He taught me a lot about the business. He taught me a lot about life. And, um, and as I said, he was very innovative with our ability to bring other product lines into our business. Gene was my doll. Um, we just enjoyed each other. He can talk on any subject. He can inform you about anything. Uh, he was just a pleasure. He was, I, I loved him dearly. 
In the same way that we have some of the highest quality uh, standards in our water business, Gene was helping to pioneer that and that same approach with the coffee business. Gene's in the Hall of Fame of the National Coffee Association for his efforts in the, on the industry's behalf as well as uh, how he helped us grow our business uh, in the coffee industry. You know, he was first in the morning, last home at night, always making calls, always following up. Uh, really an inspiration to us on the work ethic and, and all the uh, employees that came.